We are getting more reaction tonight from the Centers for Disease Control's decision to change its guidance for people who test positive for COVID-19. The CDC cut in half the number of days people are supposed to quarantine with some important caveats. It's a decision that some experts are now debating. Fox 5's David Kaplan is in Rockville for all to break all of us down for us. And David, this can be kind of confusing for folks who don't know when they have to come out of quarantine if they if they get the virus. Uh, confusing indeed, and you can't really blame people given how much this guidance has changed. So let's put it on your screen right now. Here's what was and here's what is. If you test positive, regardless of vaccination status, the recommended quarantine time was 10 days. Now it's five days if big if the person is asymptomatic or symptoms are improving, the CDC says. The guidance also, and this is important, recommends five additional days of masking for that person after they leave their isolation. Another big caveat in all of this, there is no negative test required to leave that isolation regardless of vaccination status. As for close contacts, essentially, if you're fully vaccinated or boosted, no quarantine required. The recommendation there is masking for 10 days and trying to get a test on day five and going into quarantine if you develop symptoms after being a close contact. There is not unanimity on whether or not this is a good idea in the scientific community. We talked to two experts who disagree on this. We talked to Gigi Granval. She is with Johns Hopkins University. She does agree with this guidance, thinking it strikes the right balance, has the right nuance to be able to keep people safe, but also get them back to work if they're asymptomatic. People have been wanting CDC to uh, give more nuanced guidance for people who have been vaccinated, who have been boosted, and for people who are not having um, symptomatic infections. Go to kind of the other side here. Aaron Bromage is an infectious disease and immunology expert at the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth. He studies infectiousness during and after symptoms. Generally, he says he agrees with the CDC that people are most infectious in the day or two before and the three days after showing symptoms, but says people can still be infectious after five days, which is why he believes the CDC is still requiring masks for five days after isolation. That said, he says, Omicron is so contagious that people can still spread the virus even after five days. He thinks a negative test should be part of being able to come out of isolation. But I get concerned about who's going to decide whether you're asymptomatic or not. I mean, is a sore throat? Well, that's a symptom. Runny nose? Is that a symptom? But people are going to be forced by employers, by others to say, well, are you asymptomatic? I need you back on day six. And we're going to have people back in the workplace coughing, hacking, um, transmitting. And I just, I don't see how this ends well or how this is in the public's best health. So those two differing perspectives there from experts. There's also a practical component to this. Join me tonight at six. I talked to a restaurant owner who says he's going to follow the CDC guidance, but admits he doesn't feel great about it being cut from 10 to five, but says he needs all the help he can get given some staffing shortages. We'll have much more coming up in our next hour. Back to you. Yeah, I think that's where it's going to get confusing, David, where people have symptoms. Do they come back? Do they not? Are, are they still contagious? But I have to say, 10 days in quarantine, at least right now, if people have gone back to work, also seems like an eternity. So we'll see how this plays out. Thank you so much. We'll see you at 6.